Uh, joining us live on the KRMG Morning News, Tulsa Public Schools Superintendent, Dr. Deborah Gist. Morning, Deb. Good morning. Well, that was, uh, that was quite a meeting last night, and after the delay from the week before, uh, you voted on two plans last night. One eliminates jobs and one creates jobs. Am I doing the math right here, uh, Madam School Superintendent? 90 uh, total net loss, 90 jobs? Mm -hmm, right. It's a, it's a little less than 100 positions. It's, it's, it's more complicated than that, but ultimately um, the savings that we generated last night was about $5 million, which is um, a component of the uh, reductions that we're taking in total from the district office which is estimated to be 13 to $14 million, which is the bulk of the uh, reductions that we're making to address our structural deficit. Okay, when you add that $13 million in with the campuses that uh, you've closed or consolidated, where are you on reaching that goal of uh, eliminating a $20 million budget hole for next year? The actions that the board took last night were the, were the final step we need from the board in order to um, fully implement those plans. Do you anticipate, uh, you know, over the next four or five years having to do this all over again? Um, well, we've what we've done in this in this exercise we just went through is to address it from a more of a structural address it in more of a structural way than has ever been done in the past. So for many, many, many years, Tulsa Public Schools has sort of made budgets meet uh, year after year by addressing things. And, and sometimes they were one-time savings and things like that. And that just continued to kick the can down the road to the moment that we, we've just experienced. Um, and so this, this should hold us steady for at least a couple of years. But there are two things that I'm always telling people that have to be true in order for us not to be back here again. The first is that the state of Oklahoma has to fund schools every year with enough of an, an increase to manage every school district's increase in fixed costs. So every single year, expenses go up, utilities go up, teachers get a little bump every year, support employees get a little bump every year. Every year, there are these expenses that go up for every single school district. So a flat budget or really meek um, investment uh, is actually a cut to education. So that has to be there. And then the second thing is that in Tulsa, we have to stabilize our enrollment and begin to grow our enrollment back again. Yeah, I was if waiting for you to get to that things, second mm -hmm. part. How, how do you do that? I'm sorry for interrupting because we're very no limited worries. on time, but uh, how Absolutely. do you keep that enrollment from going down or even make enrollment go up? Well, what one of the components of last night's proposal um, addressed the ways in which, as a district, we want to do more of the things that we know we do really well and the things that we know that families want from our school district. So that includes um, expanding our dual language programs, which we're internationally known for. It includes expanding pre-kindergarten and continuing to be a leader in pre-kindergarten quality, which we know is great for kids, but it also helps us to grow enrollment. It also includes um, so much of the work that we've been doing in our district around um, giving our students more real world experiences when they get to the high school years. And it also inclu includes, it, it preserves uh, what our students were really vocal in telling us that they wanted to see in Tulsa Public Schools, um, which is in addition to academics, they want to make sure that they have access to excellent arts programs and quality athletics programs. I uh, noticed a Facebook post from you yesterday uh, concerned about some of the coverage that you were getting in terms of the number of custodians in the schools. Um, are we ending up with fewer custodians by this move or not? We're we're ending up with more custodians by this move, um, but because the proposal deleted and created custodians, people saw the deleted part and they didn't see the created part. And the reason that that happened is that we deleted tw some of our 12-month custodial positions and we created 210-day um, custodial positions so that we could increase the number of custodians that are in our schools without an additional cost. And that was responding to um, the need. We, we cut back on custodians 
maybe I think it was three years ago, and um, it, and we 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 went too far. It was too much. We didn't have enough support day to day in our schools, and so this proposal gives us more of those school year and a little bit before and a little bit after positions. Uh, but then preserves some of our 12-month positions for um, because we need that too. But then during the summer, some of those 210-day uh, folks will, on teams will help us to clean our buildings. So it's a more efficient way for us to manage our custodians, and we expect that with no additional costs, um, in fact, a, a slight savings, we'll actually be able to do more with less. And that's the kind of work that we need to be doing more and more of. Dr. Gist, thank you. Thank you so much, Dan. Tulsa Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Deborah Gist, 715.